What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to continue working on the camper trailer. Um, before we do, I just want to mention I picked up this brand new um, Rode microphone. So that uh, will hopefully help with the wind noise and all that. I know a couple of you guys have suggested that I pick up a microphone. Um, I'll be doing a review on that in the next couple of weeks in the future. Um, and just reporting on how it's going and all that. So if you guys would like to see that, uh, drop your thoughts down below. So let's get started. Alright, so in last week's video, um, we filled up all this marine carpet. And I mentioned about um, fixing the edge of this door, so we'll do that now. Um, I just cut a bit more carpet off the top there. It actually it sort of closes a bit better. But we'll just sand this edge down a little bit. So um, it should close nicely. Alright, so that's all sanded up. Took about a mil off the edge there and that fits good. So it does spring a little bit at the top there, but it keeps it nice and closed. Um, so the next thing I want to do is finish the LED strip on the other side. Um, I've actually I've left that for a fair while, so we need to replace one of the um, LED strips, so let's do that. So that's all fixed there. Mind those uh, the sloppy silicon there. That's just um, covering up the wire in a bit. But um, yeah, that's all fixed. So that'll be good for when we go camping. So hopefully we can go camping here soon, guys. It's looking pretty promising. All right, so that's great. Now that's all done. So we won't have to worry about it. Um, next thing, I want to run into town and grab some paint. So we'll paint the edge of these cabinets. Um, probably paint them black or grey or something like that. Um, and I want to grab some uh, gloss stain just to stain that clip-on bench that we've got and also some side facing work lights just for out the back so we can see when we're cooking at night. So let's run into town. crazy weather there um, it's actually we didn't get any rain here surprisingly but it does rain around here a lot so luckily um, the clouds are holding out for us today but I uh, picked up some of these Kings little work lights um, so we'll mount those up just on the corner there and just be able to move them around um, so um, clear varnish for that table so I'll have to give that a bit of a sandpaper down and, and varnish that and so machinery gray just export uh, paint so just any sort of paint hopefully that'll come up nicely um, so yeah, we'll start mounting up these lights first and then um, we'll jump onto that table. So we have those uh, mounted up there now. Um, I've got some Deutsch plugs just plugged into it just so they don't corrode. Um, and they're taped up. So I will be doing a full video on all the wiring on this trailer. 
I'll make that into one big video. Um, so we'll wire up the light bar and all the other accessories inside. But um, for now, they'll, they'll be right there. So we'll hook that in with the light bar. So when they turn on, these will turn on too. Or we might even do them separately. We'll just see how we go. Um, so the next thing, we'll um, stain that table. So I've got a little orbital sander there. So we'll give that a, a quick um, sand over and then we'll stain it. and it's drying out in the sun out there. Uh, we'll be putting a second coat on that too and probably doing it underneath in the leak. But uh, while that dries, we're gonna unscrew this panel and just secure it a bit more on that corner and down below. Um, then we'll remove the bridge and tape up all these areas and uh, throw some paint. Hopefully if I um, tape up the edges here, I'm trying not to spray too much around. Um, I should have done these when they were off, but as I mentioned in last week's video, I didn't realise that um, this was exposed. I don't know why, but anyway, I didn't realise that was exposed once I'd screwed it all together. But that's alright, so you live and learn. Um, so we'll tape this up and spray them up. So that paint's all done on the edges and dry. Um, we did end up with a little bit of mist there, but we oh, will be fixing that up. I'll be painting those end caps. Um, it's tidied up this cabinet a lot, and the corners are all good there, so that's fixed. Um, so I'm happy with how that came out, but I do recommend if you guys are going to do the same sort of thing at home, definitely take the wood off and do it that way. I was sort of rushed, and anyway, it, it does. It still looks good, but definitely do that. Um, paint them before you even put the carpet on. Um, but the clip-on bench looks really good now. That's just stained with a clear um, water-based, so that'll be good out in the weather. Well, we'll be doing up underneath and this table leg. Um, and earlier I did pick up a 30-litre collapsible bucket. So I want to ask you guys, let me know down below what you reckon I should do, whether I should countersink that into this table or make a clip-on so we can still use this table as other things, um, not just washing dishes. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, but that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, that's pretty much the interior done, except for the electrical sort of side of things. So we'll still be doing um, BCDC for a charger. I'll still be doing outlets in the tents for solar, wiring up all these lights, um, and obviously the gas for the um, barbecue there. And I do want to rewire the whole trailer with some, some new tail lights and that. So we'll be doing all that. So that's coming up. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Jump over to Instagram for an inside scoop before YouTube. Um, I post here a lot and pick up some merch and some stickers if you want. And smash that subscribe button and make sure you turn the notifications on. We'll see you in the next one.